getting quite busy this afternoon. Well, I'm going into the church. I invite you to join me. Jesus was still talking to the people when his mother and brothers arrived. They stood outside, asking to speak with him. So one of the people there said to him, Look, your mother and brothers are standing outside and they want to speak with you. Jesus answered, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Then he pointed to his disciples and said, Look, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does what my Father in heaven wants him to do is my brother, my sister, and my mother. I remember on some occasions my mother asking me to phone my father at his work in his office to extract some information from him. But it was very clear when I did so that my father didn't really want to be interrupted during his working day um, on domestic matters. In this gospel passage, we have the brothers and the mother of, of Jesus coming to ask him some questions. But it would appear that Jesus didn't particularly want to be interrupted at this point. And he gives a saying, those who obey my father in heaven are my brothers and my sister and my mother. Now we all have a particular love and loyalty to our own family and that's good and proper. It's right that we should do so. Jesus himself remained loyal to his mother and ensured that she was cared for. But in addition to that in the Christian life we have a particular relationship to one another in the Christian family. The Apostle Paul regularly speaks about other Christians as his brothers and sisters. In one passage, he likens himself to a mother in childbirth, him travailing, longing for those whom he had a concern for to be formed in Christ. So let's remember that we have a love and a loyalty to our own family, and that's good, even when sometimes they don't seem to share all our Christian ideals and values sometimes they do of course but let's remember our particular responsibility and relationships in the christian family to our brothers and sisters in the lord and let's pray for one another support one another and remember one another in the different situations and challenges that we face at this difficult time let us pray Loving God, we thank you that you have bound us together in the Christian family as brothers and sisters in the Lord. And so we pray for one another, for those who are sick, for those who are troubled, for those who are frustrated, lonely or isolated, for those who have particular needs. And we commend them to your care and love. We pray for the blessings of good and strong health, for joy and peace, for guidance and strength. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That's all for today. Stay well, stay safe, and God bless.